If you're looking for signs of modesty, you'll be hard pressed to find them in Brownsburg. Here, there's no doubt who's number one. Brownsburg is really a close knit town, and you know, everybody gets excited about it. A pep rally at the high school Saturday night drew thousands, all celebrating the team that fellow students and residents alike had been buzzing about for days. You know, we made it past the first couple games, and then everyone was saying, you know, we wanted to win, but then people were like, well, I don't know. Excelling in athletics is nothing new for Brownsburg. They've been successful both on the Little League and the high school level, but on the baseball diamond, not the basketball court. We're a baseball town. We, I don't know, we eat, sleep, and drink baseball. Jason Rawlings was on the Brownsburg baseball team that won the state championship in 2005. Look for some kind of screen on but with less than three seconds to go at Conseco Fieldhouse Saturday night. One of my friend's moms started crying because she thought we were going to lose. Here's the pass up court. And so she was real nervous about it. Intercepted briefly. None of us were looking. Put up at the buzzer. Goes in. I do not believe this. An unforgettable play for the Bulldogs. Now many in town will be keeping their eye on a winter sport. It's great for the town. It's great for the kids. And maybe great for business at the recently opened Bulldog Ice Cream and Subs. Right now we don't have any purple ice cream. Um, we have the white. Sweet victory, a good taste that will linger for a long time. We'll have to work on that, yeah. <laughs> Jeremy Brilliant, Channel 13. I do not believe what I just saw. Eyewitness News.